And don't forget, if you guys do want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and turn on the bell because it does help with the channel. Anyways, without further ado, enjoy the video. Okay, so basically this is our, our so basically it hasn't been three months yet, and already, we have already gone, gained, oh, whoops, we have already gained 610 views on this channel, or, no, 610 views on my, my, my reason how to make AI gun bots and how to make them compatible with, um, Vanguard tutorial. And, and, and it's been even, and we already have halfway to 1,000, we already have halfway to 1,000 views. And I'm thankful for you guys, thank you guys so much for making this happen. There's just one problem, though. What's this? It's outdated? What? What can make it be outdated? One, well, stay tuned, because I'll show you how to up, well, no problem, no, worries, no worries, I can show you how to update the, the I'll show you how to make, how, I'll show you how to do an update tutorial in this video today. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. This word of intro plays. Back from another video. In this video, we're playing some. Oh no, I'm playing. We're gonna be, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to update or how to like. This is a new update version. Um, the second update version of how to make AI gun bots and how to make them compatible with Vanguard. Um, second edition. Um, you're like, why the heck is why why is uh what makes this why like like I recently got con by um shout out to um uh, shout out to like uh. Shout out to this guy right here for telling me about this glitch. If it weren't for him, I would have not known and it would have been awesome. So, thank you, uh, Kaino, or how you say I'm sorry for if I mispronounce it, but can thank you so much for, um, uh, helping me, helping me with this. But basically, what he said, what he's, what he's trying to say in his comment is was that, well, they just, they don't move and shoot. Um, they got yeah, gun bots. And if we, and if, and if I, if we now, if I go up and up and I have bots, I have bots, I cause, I cause when they might have, like, disabled. At first, I was like, I mean, they might disable the control thing, you might have tricked me there, but they're wrong. Look at this, guys, look at this. Our oh, hands, I'm uh, stretching our hands, guys, quick. Let me get the real, actual, uh, let me get the gun bot. I'll put him here, put him here, sort of storage. Uh, I'll run this and show you guys what it is. If you guys really want, if you guys want a full kit and show you guys where, where it came from, link to that will be in the description, as always. If it'll load, that is. Here we are, um, and yeah, as you can tell, that he was right. They don't move, they don't shoot. And as we can tell you, we got an error. And we got an error right here on our output, which says, Load library is not available anymore. What is load library, you guys might be I I thinking? Well, um, this post will show you what it is. And I'll show you guys what this post is, if I can get to it. Okay, so basically, like, this guy, load library is going to be removed on February 3rd, which is, well, February 19th on my, on right here, as you can tell here. Um, so, yeah, it's February 19th as I'm recording this, so, it's gone! So, what's going on? Load library is a legacy mechanism that we previously used to provide access to the world's maintained load codes. That's what you do in nutshell what it is. It always shows the removal timeline or stuff like that. But, um, how do we, but, like, but, like, how, like, does that mean it's outdated now? Does that mean we're gone, we're, doesn't we're done with this? Does that mean, does that mean that we have to move on to better things? Nope! We, because, if you guys go down here, you guys can see this. I use the library, what do I do to replace it? We recognize that you didn't don't really want to spend a lot of time to clean up the usual, usual usually the usual you know. Anyway, so here's what I do. Um the good news is that it's easy to replace the load library with the with the use of mall scripts and we require. Here's how to do this. First of all, download the tenant file that contains three mall scripts. You guys want this you can find it in the description. Um, insert it into the replica storage as always, and I'm gonna grab it right now actually. Oh hang guys, so I can find it. Okay, since I already like have in my since I already have on uh, download on my, to my computer, um, I decided to put on my in my game in my game already that way or my studio already that way. Um, I didn't show you guys what to do. So okay, let's go. So next, to download, insert it into the game replica storage by clicking right click on replica storage, choosing insert from file and locating the file download. In the script code, replace little library calls with uh, with the required as calls as follows. Um, do keep in mind that you guys are really are going to need uh, oh wait. You guys are really gonna need um, to know quite a bit of scripting if you guys really want to know about this. So without further ado, um, let's get let's get the scripting, shall we? So how do we fix this? So first off, I put the, I have the little library right now. Let's put this into our left case storage as always. Let's go to Gunbot. 
And you guys are going to need to know a lot of script scripting. So, but if you guys don't need to know a lot of scripting, well, I'll just show you guys. I'll show you what to do. So, here's it's pretty easy from here. From here. Well, not really easy, but uh, just bear with me because if you guys don't know anything, then please do not mess with this. But uh, if you guys, but I'll show you how what's going on. So, here we go. Control. So, let's get here. We're back to the very, very, very bad. Um, how should I say it? It's more of like, it's kind of, we're back to the very confusing script that controls the gun. Fine. So what you guys want to need to focus on is local C. This thing right here. Line 16. You see here, it has a little library function, Robux Utility dot create. So what do we do? What do we do in order to make it functional? So what you want to do? What you want to do? You, you want to do is go to game, or you quad, you need to, uh, you need to uh, um, delete the load library, or something on C. Or, you need a hump. I'll show you what I did. So basically what I did was, I delete all this. Um, go into space. Space that real quick. That way, it'll actually go to require. Click with type require. Uh, make sure I'm through game. Dot replicate. Dot replicate storage. Dot. Load. Dot, uh. Hang guys real quick. I can't remember what it was. Uh. Yeah, wait, okay, hang on guys, we got games that series, uh, okay, um, okay, storage, it goes wait for child, uh, low library, library, then wait, that are, um, hang on guys, quick, I need to do it again, oh my god, I'm not sure why I need to keep on doing it, you know? Hang on, hang on guys, we need to find the code, but just copy all the code, just, okay, we've, okay, here we are. Wait, for, hang on, hang on. for a child, it was, then, uh, what you want to do now is, click R, R, B, X, or make sure, make sure you have R, B, X, utility, um, RBX utility. Make sure, hopefully, that's how I spell it. Um, if not, I'm messed up. I'm done for. So yeah, and then we want to do at this uh, is intent type dot create, and then once you dump that, um, here uh, it is. Um, okay, so here it is. Um, this uh is what it all is. Um, I'm, let's just make sure if it works. If, if not, um, then I'll show what I did. Wrong. Here it is, you see? See, it's working, guys. It's working. Back to normal Gumbot. So, um, yeah, as we already fixed the game, uh, I'm not going to show you guys how to make a battle of Vanguard, since you know I already have an other... This much all that's outdated about the tutorial. It's just this. So, if you guys really need to uh, fix it, you need a fix on how to fix it, then, uh... You guys really need to know how to fix, you know, like, what's going on and stuff. Then be sure to check, then if you guys really want to see the full tutorial on how to like, convert, um, Vanguard, how to make a battle Vanguard. Well, actually, since I have time, I think I might as well do it right now. Like, why not? I might as well do it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go to, uh, go to, I'm going to go ahead. So I'm going to install Vanguard, uh, install Vanguard. Um, you guys don't know how I'm doing this. I'm using the Vanguard plugin. Um, that way I don't have to, uh, you know, now I just don't have to. So I just don't have to set up anything, so you know what I mean. Okay, so what you want to do is go into your gun, config mods, gonna serve a config, then once you dump that, uh, oh no, good no, not go to config mods, gonna see config, then make sure you're gonna go to line, uh, what line was it again? Uh, line 106 on C config, make sure we have the the total you want to make, have kill, gun, or people, kill the NPCs, and then click, and then tap in, go and then open this up. And then go into line 106, and then you have, and then anti-TK. That means anti-team kill. That means, that basically means they will kill NPCs, but it will also kill your teammates. Um, we have it, but we have it false. But when you have it true, um, you will have, it will, it will not kill NPCs, but it will kill your teammates. Actually, it will not kill NPCs, but uh, when you cannot kill your teammates, but you can't kill other enemies. So, for real, let's go and get straight into it, shall we? Let's go straight into it. Why do you think it's so long to load? And, okay, that's my idea. I was going to pause real quick before I load, you know. Okay, so if I forget, let's get straight into it. 
Uh, I won war. Oh yeah, we won the war. Finally, revenge. Oh, okay. oh, that's that fair. Oh well, moving on. So yeah, as you can tell you, that's much all you had to do to update the NPCs. Um, if you guys really want to know how to like add, how to make your own, that's much all you had to do. Um, if you get, that's much all you had to do. So yeah, that's how that's how you make it compatible. Um, and how to make your own custom AI bot. Alright, so yeah, that's much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, be sure to check out my Discord, or be sure to check out, the, or be sure to put them, put your questions down in the comments below. So you know that, yeah, the comments are back. Um, so yeah, without further ado, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get going. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys do want to see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on bell, so that it helps the channel. If you also want to miss video, thanks for watching. And this is B. Dirty Game Six now. <laughs>